Hey guys, so today I have a Quest 2, Oculus Quest 2, uh, that just came in that I'm gonna unbox some. Um, Facebook right here, I actually got this directly from their site, uh, for some reason like Amazon and other places. Said they would ship around March, uh, which from when I'm recording this, uh, or I'm sorry, toward the end of March, so it's about half a month to a month, a couple weeks, is what it was looking like. Um, getting it directly from their site it was two days free shipping uh two or three business days i think it was i'm not sure why they're taking so long to ship from other places so this right here is the 64 gigabyte version there's also a 128 i believe it's 128 it might be 256 i think it's actually 256 um but this one is $2.99 and I believe that one is $3.99 so take a look at some of the packaging here see if the camera can pick it up there we go so I was able to get that a little bit fixed so that's the packaging right there uh, where are we at next level hardware easy setup backwards compatible with I'm guessing the original quest library so let's get this open I don't really have a specific opener for this actually, you know what? And then we get a little holder right there. Oh, there we go. No tools needed. Nice. Easy to open. Throw that to the side for right now. Open this. Figure it out. So it's just a basic cardboard box. Nothing too special about it. Oh. <laughs> well, there it is. So what do we have to do with this? A nice new text smell. Um, really simple instructions listed right there. It's just three little pictures. Just basically take this tab off, how to turn it on, and how to put the strap on. So, oh nice. You know, besides this one, I've actually only ever used a PSVR. I've never even tried any of the more uh, pro VR options. This is actually really comfortable. So, <clears throat> we're getting the light right there. So in there, yeah, we got this uh, little cursor. Or I'm sorry, this little uh, stick. We got two buttons. And then I guess that's kind of a, I don't know if you can see right there. Yeah. Kind of a stickier button there for the options, I'm assuming. Um, and then these triggers are really, really nice. Like soft, but they're also, I don't know, kind of not weighted, but it's like it glides instead of just kind of drops. That's still kind of really nice. And then there should be, so I don't know exactly how the technology works, but there should be like sensors here, right? So that it kind of figures out what your position is, or is this just a, uh, an aesthetic thing, only the headset has the, the trackers, so I'm not too sure. So yeah, down here it's got a left, you pull that, and it comes with a holder, which I'm sure is going to come in handy. I remember playing the Wii, the original Wii, and holders definitely helped. So. And same thing here. It's Two more buttons, so those X, Y on that one, B, A on the right one, and then an Oculus. Uh, right there, a little Oculus button, same same layout. Pretty cool, also very, uh, yeah, both of them are pretty, take a second, I think, to get used to. Um, 
but I'm sure people would use VR a lot more or a lot more comfortable with it and I think actually now that I'm looking at it, see a little circle there maybe that's touchscreen maybe that's aesthetics I'm not sure it does feel different <laughs> Get these out. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's have a controller. Comes with this little thing. So it says it's glasses spacer. I guess you just put it right in front uh, where the lens goes. Just so if you're wearing glasses, I guess it puts that little extra space you need. Which I do wear glasses, but I don't plan on using them in VR. Unless I guess I feel like I need to visually, but if I have a choice, why not wear them? Yeah, definitely does smell pretty nice actually. Um, Alright, so that's the headset unit. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be, actually. Uh, you can see right there, it's got a camera. Camera in each corner. It had four cameras. thought they were bolts for a second. So it took a little closer. Uh, at the bottom, there's two buttons. Plus and minus. I'm guessing that's just sound. Um, and then, actually, one more button on the side. And I think that's the power button. And it uh, looks like that's all the buttons. Oh, yeah. And the little strap. So it says move lens left or right to find clearest view. So, again, pretty cool. Pretty simple. Let's open it up. And then there's some kind of wrap around cover on it right now, actually. Like that okay, there we go. So, yeah, the power button. There it goes, power button. And this is definitely kind of a softer plastic. I think. It definitely, I think I need to get a case for it since it gets scuffed up and marked, just it being all white. I think those are some kind of uh, they're little pinholes, and I don't know if it's for speakers um, or maybe it's a mic. That would make more sense, I think. I think that's an aux plug in there for headphones, a headphone jack. Uh, I think that's USB-C right there. Is what it charges, and I think you can use it if you buy the extra cable. You can USB-C out to your laptop or your PC and uh, be able to play actual PC VR games like Oculus Rift games now. You definitely still need a powerful computer to run it I think. I'm not entirely sure what the specs call for VR. Uh, just haven't taken a look. Um, but I'm sure I got a laptop or a desktop laying around that'll work it. I mean I'll definitely build one if it, if it came down to it right. Actually, there's some warning signs on the actual, uh, yeah. Nothing special, just little details are kind of what I like about tech and, and different companies. Definitely Apple does create a small detail, so I think that's, don't quote me on this, but I feel like that's what they're going for, is the simplicity of Apple, um, but for VR, and they almost have the same aesthetic going on. That feels pretty strong. Yeah, that's a pretty strong elastic. I, I don't know. I don't know how these are going to feel. It's hard plastic at the corners of the uh, strap. I don't know how those are going to feel wearing them extended amount of time. I think that's why they sell the Elite strap, which is basically, if you've ever used a PSVR, it's like making it into that. So it, it's like a hard plastic kind of the same type of chassis as this for the back that holds your head in um and then let's see if i can pick it up in the camera those are the actual lenses i 
there it goes and those have actually i don't know if it's gonna pick up with, with that light yeah okay there we go so it's hard to see but right in the middle between the lenses is that little camera cutout so there's an actual camera in there i think that just probably picks up when you actually have it on nice little nose ridge here this is really it feels kind of like basic foam um i, I think it feels kind of nice actually uh, but i don't think it's anything special i think it's pretty uh run-of-the-mill foam going on here uh, no sunlight on lenses no liquid liquid cleansers or i'm sorry cleaners just good it has that because i actually was about to buy one on uh an amazon little lens cleaner but it was a liquid one so i don't know why they sell it marketed for vr headsets if you don't need it or can't use it so before we put that on a little accessories package simple box it's the oculus rift i'm sorry the oculus uh, logo same thing here we got a manual here a little charging brick and this is a uh, let's see what is that actually input output the 5 volt to 10 watt 10 watt charger that is a really nice feeling USB to USB uh, C to C uh, cable feels like Apple's kind of feel to it you know that little soft plastic but it's a lot thicker feeling than the ones that I've seen almost feels like the whole thing even the header feels bigger than the Apple's so let's take a look at the the manuals here. Reference guide, Oculus Plus 2. Do the reference guide. Okay, pretty easy. The uh, quick start guide. How to lens lens adjustment. Uh, basically, all the things you need to actually get right into it there's actually a care and cleaning little pamphlet which says clean with microfiber cloth don't use strong solvents or alcohol cleaners simple enough I'll take a look at that in just a second actually and then there's your car manual of sorts for it it's the boring one that you probably need to keep um, then again, most people just go to tech support, right? Have them fix it, but there's some information here that I can use. Close this up, actually. Alright, so... I'll pause it for a second and put this on. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to turn it on just yet. I want to see how it feels. Here it goes. I haven't adjusted the head strap at all. I think I gotta make this top part a little bit longer or figure out what the best way to do it is. It's a little tight to be honest with you. Uh, but again, this is just the default setting. Um, the foam's pretty comfortable actually. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, whole lot of right here, down here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but whole lot of uh, open space here for the light uh, even if I push down on it that's not gonna do it so I do I think I need to buy there's something you can buy to uh, enclose that out some kind of light blocker uh, yeah this is pretty nice I think if I adjust the uh, the back a little bit uh, yeah okay this is actually pretty easy to see for that. Open that up a little bit. How that fits. Oh yeah, that's a whole lot better. It's still light here, but if I turn the lights off and play that way, I think it'd be better. 
I don't know if these are super good at low light or if I need a whole lot of light. Uh, that's something I'll explore in a different video is actually using this one. Pretty cool, so. I think what I'm gonna do now is just end the video here. I'll do a different one on actually using it at some point in the future. Um, and maybe some of the accessories, because I do plan on getting a uh, I may get the elite strap. I'm going to see how this feels after a long bit of time. I'm getting the uh, PC VR cable, the one that you can connect to your laptop or your desktop and run PC games. Um, and then I might get the, uh, I'm definitely getting whatever light blocker I can get. I think, I think there's an official one they make, um, like Oculus themselves make. So I'm going to try that out. And see how it works from there um, I think there's a different kind of coating or not coating but like that, that you wrap this around with I may try that one out as well um, yeah it's pretty cool uh, there is one caveat for some people for me I already have one so it's not a big deal but to actually use this you need to have a, uh, a uh, Facebook account I don't know why that's such a big deal, right? Because I know people are worried about um, data leaks or them collecting your data and selling it. My suggestion would be why not just make a Facebook account with a disposable or secondary email. Don't put your pictures. Um, you know, simple name. You could do the letters of your name. My name uh, would be, you know, I could do DA instead of my full name. Um, yeah, I don't get why it's such a big deal, right? If you don't want them selling your data or whatever you're worried about, I get that. But why not make an account with no real data backing it up to you, right? The only things it would have is maybe a picture, which you don't have to use your picture. Maybe your name. Again, you don't have to use your full name. Um, and it would have your email and not even yours, right? Whatever email you pick. So it could be a secondary email. But it would have your email and then I don't recall if you need to anymore, but you can also just or you might have to actually put your phone number in. But again, all it's linking is an email you don't use, the initials of your name and the phone number. That's stuff that you can figure out without ever having a Facebook account. I mean, I mean, we don't really have phone books anymore, but if you're really worried about your your initials being tied to your phone number you know and I, mean, I guess it just it's about being safe on the internet right use VPN if you're worried uh, stop all tra you know trackers for ad trackers to follow you around I mean it's pretty simple if you if you're that worried about it it's not that hard to take a look at some of the stuff you can do to prevent that um, and me I have a background I'm a network engineer so maybe it's a little different for me but and maybe I can cover some of those things for people who aren't as tech savvy uh, in future videos. But yeah, you do need a Facebook account. I know that's one thing that people were kind of polarized about. Um, I don't see it being different than just having a Oculus account, right? It's going to hold the same information if you're not already using Facebook. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you liked it. And I'll make another video covering the features uh, in the future.